Hi guys, JD Zero, and as you can tell by the title, I am here about the conversation is about Pokemon news that, or at least Pokemon trans transfer, because I know the Pokemon company told us that we can't transfer uh, Pokemon from Sun and Moon back to Auras because it's you know, the whole concept of new software can't transfer back to old software and vice versa when new or old software can transfer to the new software. But when you're trying to transfer like Pokemon like from Auras to X and Y you could do that but you can't transfer like new Pokemon that are not available to be on a old software you can't transfer it because it's not backwards compatible saying i have tentacruel tentacruel is a pokemon that was born on a sudden moon software so it's a new software that was born on but going through the pokemon bank and try to transfer it to an Oris software being an old software compared to the new software on sun and moon i cannot transfer and as you told, as you can see from my other video that I was doing a Wi-Fi battle and I was explaining the reasons why I couldn't do this or couldn't do that, it's because of that. And I wanted to do it because it, it was that thing. I was trying to figure out why I couldn't do it in the first place. And I feel like overall, I feel like the company, the Pokemon company had messed up on that part. Of doing that because I think it would have been great for the fact of them doing such a thing where it's like oh all I need to do is allow this this player to transfer back an old mon that basically comp playability or capability is to go through Sun and Moon to Auras and back to Sun and Moon from Auras. It can get a, a move from Auras and then be transferred back to Sun and Moon because it's just a Gen 1 Pokemon like Tentacruel or a Gen 2 Pokemon like Politoed. You know, something like that. But again, backwards compatible, that's the thing. It, you can't backward compatible Sun and Moon to Auras. You only get four compatible the Pokemon. So it's only fouring you can only get four your Pokemon to the next gen console or the next gen software being Sun and Moon and it's gonna be the same way when it goes to the point of Sun and Moon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. You're not gonna be able to back compatible back Hey, I get, I get, keep getting the words all combobulated, but backwards compatible, basically you just can't backwards compatible in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. You could probably do it with a couple of Pokemon to actually be able to transform back and forth from Ultra Sun to Ultra Moon, from Sun and Moon, but you can't do the same thing for the new Pokemon that you're going to eventually add up on there. Same for like the new Ultra Pokemon that you're going to be having in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. You can't transfer those Pokemon to Sun and Moon while it just wouldn't work. It just wouldn't work because it's a new software. It's a new set of a game that is completely different from the previous software you put in. The same thing with well, the same thing with the whole cosplay Pikachu and dealing with cosplay Pikachu can't be transferred to X and Y but you could transfer Pokemon over from Auras to X and Y but you can't transfer new Pokemon like so to X and Y it's gonna be the same way with Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon you can't transfer the new um the new uh Ultra Beast or you can't transfer the new Lycanroth, or you cannot transfer the new Cosmoforms because 
they're on a new completely different software but that so completely different you could transfer still the regular Pokemon from Ultra Sun and Moon to Sun and Moon consoles software ah so basically the whole point of this title is why can't you transfer basically as you can see on the title is why can't you transfer and I am renting why you can't transfer but it's basically the the whole concept of the title is why can't you transfer you know why 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 is it so hard for the Pokemon company to not understand the concept of transfer and what will be allowed to go from one place to the other or that can't go that way because you can't get news from that to that or that to this it's like I know you're trying to fit everything onto a new software you're trying to reduce some of the news to fit new moves in I get it but logically it just wouldn't make sense so if you're doing it on showdown showdown allows you to use any moves you want again showdown allows you to do legit moves showdown allows you to do hack things on there it's like it's just all combobulated so like saying I wanted to set up a move that would be particularly for Tentacruel. I want to go with Giga Drain because that was a 6 gen setup on a Tentacruel. I can't go with a 6 gen setup on a Tentacruel because I have to have a Auris 6 gen or an X and Y 6 gen Pokemon that's already bred in that 6 gen universe to get this section setup that I want and that will be Giga Drain. I want a Giga Drain with knockoff, rapid spin, and sludge wave. Four moves. Four moves. Knockoff, rapid spin, Giga Drain, and then the fact of having, you know, sludge wave or ice beam. Either one of those two. Can I have that? No, I can't have that. Oh, wait, because I can't, I, I could have it, but it's going to be only here on the 6 gen setup. I mean, I could transfer that 6 gen setup to Sun and Moon, but I can't transfer the Sun and Moon Pokemon that's also the same tentacle back to Auris because it's not a 6 gen software Pokemon. It's a 7 gen software Pokemon and since this is a 7 gen software Pokemon I can't transfer it I can't use it I can't do anything with it but give it a new set and the new set is knock off forever spin ice beam and freaking such wave so now I can't do any healing combinations with this generation Pokemon why because in stupid logical terms I just can't do it because shit doesn't make sense for this Pokemon in that way to do it pisses me off pisses me off but there you go rent for like a good nine minutes but there you go bye guys bye guys